Professor Ndungu joined the South African scientific and academic community in KwaZulu-Natal 19 years ago, when there was a high burden of HIV infection in the province. He grew up on a coffee farm in rural Kenya and is humble about this latest career accolade, saying it's due to the great support he received throughout his career from mentors, colleagues and students. And for me, as, a, as an African scientist, as someone who works in a, a low-income country, that recognition is very important because I think that uh, a lot of the work that we do sometimes, we don't get uh, as much recognition and as much visibility. We are not put on the spotlight as it was. Professor Ndungu is being recognized as having pioneered the first primary isolated infectious molecule clone of HIV-1 subtype C, which has advanced the understanding of the virus and its interaction with host systems. The HIV-1 subtype C is the most prevalent strain of HIV in Africa. Uh, the Academy also recognized his vital uh, contribution to uncovering immune vulnerabilities in HIV-1 subtype C, instrumental in developing vaccines and immunotherapies. The Human Sciences Research Council in its most recent survey found that more than 1.9 million people were living with HIV in KwaZulu-Natal in 2022 and more than 1.6 million people in the province were receiving antiretroviral therapy treatment. ART has helped stop the spread of HIV and the mortality impact of the disease. The antiretroviral therapies that are currently in use, they are based on small molecules that block specific steps of the virus. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is to understand the immune response to the virus. Regions immune vulnerability, in other words, regions that where, where if you target the immune response to that part of the virus, it can we, it can in the virus so that the virus is unable to replicate efficiently. So that's what we're trying to do. So if we can do that, is we can then develop a vaccine that would be able to block HIV infection. Or um, we can use this immunotherapies to treat HIV infection. So it will be a new kind of way of uh, either preventing or treating HIV infection. So at the moment, we haven't been able to do that successfully, but really that's what our work is all about and we hope that we can achieve that goal in the future. Dungu and his team are engaged in an important proof of concept study, which is ongoing in Durban. They have initiated a study among women to test whether very early antiretroviral treatment followed by immunotherapy with broadly neutralizing antibodies and an immune stimulant will lead to antiretroviral free control of HIV. Renee Heine, SABC News, Durban.